is an Elimination Chamber match. Making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, Booker T. Booker T, who says to gain respect, you gotta earn respect. Well, Booker T has lived by that motto, which is why he is a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and one of the most decorated athletes the industry has ever known. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight. And he's about to get one. Uh, here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. And his opponents. First, from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. There's more heavy metal enveloped in this ring than there is in my MP3 player. And guys, that's a lot of metal. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. Make way for a wrestling machine. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. A man who will take on any competitor on any night. Yeah, Kurt Angle considers the entire locker room an open challenge. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. And from Ohio, weighing in at 235 pounds, Al Snow. Harsh steel, unforgiving plexiglass, and six of the most hungry competitors in WWE. This elimination chamber is going to be brutal. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. A 
Austin marching to the ring. The trademark scowl on his face, ready for business. A man who just oozes attitude and does whatever he and wants. From Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Fellas, I've been looking forward to this match for a while, mostly because I'm outside the Elimination Chamber and not in it. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, Shawn Michaels. The showstopper, Mr. WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels has earned every single moniker bestowed upon him in his career. He's physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big time match. Every Elimination Chamber match is unique, but there are certain strategies that are constant. Eliminate someone as quickly as possible and form an alliance if it's useful. The problem is every single person in the chamber wants the same thing as you do, to be the last superstar standing. Yeah, that's true, but before you can make that happen, you have to bite the bullet and form alliances where and when you can. Those are the kinds of alliances that last about half a heartbeat. What a coincidence. That's how long my patience lasts with you two at this table. And building up speed. Oh, right to the heart. Austin looking to pay homage to the Lone Star State with the power driver. Oh, my goodness. Disheartening position for HBK. Yeah, the showstopper's being punished by Stone Cold. Right to the face. My God. Uh oh. Now there's a guy you do not want to see at this point in the match. Setting foot in the ring now. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Back suplex. Very nice. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Oh my god. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. right in the head. Face buster. Right, he's got him here. He's got him up. And oh! And Michael's just got rattled, making this even more of an uphill battle. Letting this match go a little longer than is strictly advisable. Might win a try making use of that stipulation. Corey, how does strategy change when a new competitor is released from their pod? You only have a moment to make a first impression, and it's up to you whether the impression is with your fist, a cage, or a bargain. Oh, a bargain? Oh, there's no rules. Here he goes for the win! And the count doesn't even begin. What is it going to 
take to put. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Big knee to the midsection.
Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. And Booker T is having his way right now. Yeah, Booker T. And this has got to be it. Breaks the close count. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Steve Austin playing one there. Not even a two count. And Austin is in a state of disbelief. Thought he had this match in hand, but it will continue. Pendulum backbreaker. Nick Cobb down with the bulldog. All the way up. And the big time power. An arm wrench. DDT. Military press! Boom! Well placed, kick to the gut. Another damaging kick. Nice combo. Shaking. Wrenching the arm. DDT. He has a right where he wants him. Legging vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. This game's about winning at any and all costs. This competitor knows exactly what they want to do. Perched on the top rope. Here it is. Superplex. Ah, oh, reversal catches Booker T. There they go. This could be big. Going up high. Blast off! Whoa! What a landing! Big time risk pays off! The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. You are not alone in your shock, Cole. We all thought that was it. Punishing power slam. And his torso continues to be targeted. That could be disrupting the flow of air at this point. He returns to the right. Angle with a spectacular single leg into the ankle lock. This does not look good. Angle may have it. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Oh, look at this. Over neck breaker. Picture perfect. Boom, right across the small of the back. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Targeting the chest. Very effective. Can Angle withstand much more of this? Angle failing to show his trademark intensity. Right in the middle. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. He's really slowly getting up. Nice. Uh-oh. Angle escapes the attack. Knee right to the gut. Chamber. There's always controversy in the aftermath of a six-man elimination chamber match, but I'm just stunned at how incredible that match really was.
Here is your winner, Booker T. The WWE Universe celebrating this match and the winner. With that win, they deserve the praise. This really felt like it was about more than just winning. This was about making a statement, putting everyone in the division on notice. And that statement was they're here to win, Saxton.